Hello, welcome to the Nami Teachers Hub with Kenneth Gila, a platform designed to transform your mind for productive living. And then, just in case you are not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like, and then turn on the notification bell so you can receive more of this kind of mind transforming messages as it comes your way from time to time. Thank you, and God bless. Hello, welcome back to the Navi Teachers Hub with Kenneth Ugela, a platform designed to transform your mind for a productive living. And then today's program is a very wonderful one. Today's program is School Life. Today's program is School Life. And then today's program is Balancing School Life and Spirituality. Balancing School Life and Spirituality. This is a powerful program that every student needs to pay attention to. Every believer, every Christian needs to pay attention to this, to this topic of discourse that we are about to unravel in this uh, today's program. I know that it's a wonderful thing to, to live an exceptional life when it comes to spirituality. It's a wonderful thing to have the good vision. It's a wonderful thing to pray. It's a wonderful thing to, to fast and it's a wonderful thing to study your Bible. It's a wonderful thing to be among the veteran and do a wonderful fellowship with your people. It is a wonderful thing to involve in spiritual activities which helps to build you up and become very exceptional as a student even while you attempt to go about your daily activities in your school. But there are imbalances when it comes to spirituality and schooling. There are some students who basically focus on the aspect of schooling alone. They just go about studying day, day after day. They don't mind to go to church. They don't mind to attend weekly services. They don't mind to join any department or any workforce in the church in the name of schooling. And because of that, they have abandoned their spiritual life. All their mindset is towards building up their academical career and becoming the best in their school, which is a very good one. And there are still some other kind of persons who also focus all their attention on spirituality when it is time to study their books, they are praying. When it is time to go to the library, they are in the church, fasting and praying every day and every night, going from one vigil to another, going from one prayer house to another. It is still very good, but it is not completely okay for you as a student to be an extremist in any of these things. You understand? The Bible even tells us that it is very good for us to live a balanced and a moderate life. Moderation should be applied in every aspect of our life both our spiritual life and equally our educational life, you understand? So it is very important. So as a student who wants to be spiritually sound and also want to be exceptional in his academical studies, what should you do? The following things I'm about to discuss will help you gain a good understanding and a good balance when it comes to balancing your schooling and your spirituality. The following point I'm about to tell you will help you balance a good and a healthy structure when it comes to building up your spiritual life and, and then obtaining an excellent result in your academic pursuit. So pay attention as you listen to these following points as to how you can build your spirit and also become very exceptional in your academic pursuit. The number one thing you should do when it comes to balancing spirituality and schooling is to ensure that you set goals. Ensure that you set goals. Ensure that you set both spiritual goals and then your academic goals. Ensure that. Don't just uh, live a life of just okay, anyhow it goes. Um, uh, let me just be going to church, uh, praying, uh, fasting, and just no, don't live that kind of life. Or let me just be going to school, hoping one day all things will be well, since I'm crazy, I'm a Christian, everything will be balanced. No. Ensure that you set goals. Ensure that you set those academic goals as to the grade you want in each of the courses you are studying. Set a grade for each of the courses that you are studying. And also set a goal for the spiritual target you want to meet. This is your semester. Do you want to finish the New Testament? This is your semester. Do you want to finish the, the Pauline epistles? What, what are your goals when it comes to studying the Bible? And then when it comes to the aspect of prayer, what are your goals when it comes to praying every day? Are you going to be praying one hour? Are you going to be praying two hours? What are your goals? Set your goals. Set your goals correctly. Ensure that you set your goals. Set your goals when it comes to academic studies. Set your goals when it, when it comes to the building of your spiritual capacity. So set goals for this aspect. And the next thing you should do when it comes to balancing your spiritual life and then your academic pursuit is to set a plan. 
Make a plan. Make a very good plan for yourself. You have set an academical goal as to how you want to play. You want A in mathematics. You want A in calculus. You want A in engineering science. Whatever courses that you have set your brain in, set plans. How are you going to meet up with that A? Plan it out. In planning, you have to plan out what and what will be needed for you to obtain an A in each of the course. For instance, as a student, I can say, okay, I need an A in a calculus course. And because of that, I will plan out how that I will attend all the lectures of the lecturer who is teaching that course. And then whatever past questions that, that in that lecturer have said before, I will do them together and then also I have to prepare for the test and the exam that are coming. So you plan out those things that will help you achieve that uh, academical pursuit that you want. And the same thing goes with the spiritual pursuit. Now you want to study the New Testament. How are you going to so are you going to be studying that? Are you going to be studying three chapters per day or are you going to be studying one chapter per day? Plan it out. Don't, don't just plan it in your head alone. Don't just set the goals in your head alone. Plan it out on the paper. Set the goals and then set the equivalent plans as to how you will meet up with the goals. These are very important. Set your goals and make a good and a wonderful plan as to how you will achieve all of these goals. And in setting up your plan, ensure that you break your plan into daily activities. Don't just set them into weekly, don't set them into daily. Break your plan into daily routine activities. So that means if I am planning to have decision in my calculus, I will plan the number of chapters of the number of chapters I will read in that calculus per day. If it is going to be one chapter, I will plan it. You understand? Break your activities into daily routine. The same thing goes with the spiritual activities. Break your spiritual activities into daily routine. You understand? Break it down into daily routine. You want to read five books of the Bible for this for this semester. So what should you do? Break that, break that five books of the Bible into the how many days you will spend in that semester. Break those spiritual activities into the how many days you will spend in that semester. That's how you will go about it. It will be very powerful when you do those things. And then the next thing you need to do after breaking them into daily routine is to ensure that you break your time into the daily activities that you want to do. Break your time into the daily activities that you, that you want to do. So that means if you find out that it will be more fruitful for you to do spiritual activities at night, then focus your spiritual activities at night. You understand? Focus your spiritual activities at night. So wake up and then you pray. After praying, study your Bible. You go, then go back to bed. And then in the morning, the next morning, prepare to go to prepare to go to school. And then when you come back from school, take a take a one hour or 30 minutes rest. Then you, if, if you have a weekly service for that day, you can go for your weekly service. Now that goes mostly within one hour or one hour, 30 minutes, and then you come back to rest. For instance, I want to have a good result and I also want to have a good spiritual life. So what do I do? I plan my spiritual activities at night and then within the day, I plan my academical activities. So at night, let me start from night. At night, I pick my, at night, I stand up at 12 and I pray between 12 to 2 or between 12 to 1 or between 12 to 3, depending on how your schedule is. And then I study my Bible within one or two hours of that night and then I take my rest then when I wake up I prepare and I prepare I go to school then when I come back from school take a rest then go for my weekly activities and then when I come back prepare what I will eat after eating and then take a rest and then pick my book in the evening time and start studying and then I start studying between the hour of 7 to 9 o'clock in the evening so that's about how many hours that's about two hours so you study, you ensure that, that within that two hours or three hours that you want to study, you pay all your attention in that studies. Pay all your attention in that studies and ensure that you study to the deepest understanding. And then after that, from nine o'clock or from 10 o'clock, you can go back to bed and sleep from that 10 o'clock till 1 a.m. at night. Then you wake up to continue your spiritual activities. Then sleep again, rest, wake up, and then go to school, come out from school, rest go to your weekly activities in church if you if there's any for that day and then prepare your food rest and pick up your book and start studying when you involve yourself in this routine day in day out you will find out that you, you are fruitful spiritually and you are fruitful academically but when you just have that you there's no plan there's no strategy there's no daily routine 
you just wake up and your day has started, you will not have the best of your time. You will just waste your time. You will not know when 24 hours have gone. You understand? And then it will not happen. If you, and then it will just happen as if you are just spending all the time in spiritual activities alone. No, don't deceive yourself. The most time, the hour you spend in spiritual activities are not too much like that. But the other hours you ought to have spent studying your books, you waste it away and it now look as if you are only spending all your time in spiritual activities. You are going from church to church. No, balance everything. You understand? There are times that you should go out for visit. It's not every time you go out for visitation. So stay in your house and study your books. You came, you came to that school because of studies. You understand? So let it be your number one priority. Then, of course, your spiritual life is very important. While you also take up that spiritual life and begin to build upon it, then you also balance it with, with your academic studies. You set out your time. You understand? Everybody has 24 hours per day. So if everybody has 24 hours per day, then everybody ought to divide his or her time into how he values the goals and the plan he has set out for himself. So if you so much value those goals for your spiritual building and so much value those goals to attain that academic excellence, then set that daily routine. Daily routine is one of the best things that every student should have. It's, 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 it's very powerful you have that. You understand? Set out a daily routine. Pick up your pen. You know within 24 hours, okay, in the morning, I will do this. From this time and this time, I will spend it in school. While I'm in school, there may be times where there are free lectures. So I need to pick my book and study as at that time. You write it. You write it down. You understand? I can also go to library if there are free time for me in school and then study my books. Then when I come back, when it's, when it's time for weekly services in church, I go to church. Then when I come back, eat my evening food, take my rest, and then start studying my books. After studying my books at least to 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. In, at night, then I sleep. And then after sleeping for three hours, then I wake up, stand up to engage my spiritual activities, pray my one or two hours prayer, study my Bible, and then after studying my Bible, take another, uh, take another two or three hours sleep, and then when I wake up, prepare, I go to school. This is how the routine should go. You understand? Don't alter it. But by the time you now alter it, you now you spend all your night sleeping. You will not be effective. You understand? You'll not be effective. You can't be taught. You can't you spend all your day in your academic studies and then all your nights spend it on sleeping. Your spiritual life will be dead. Then also you can't spend all your day in spiritual activities and all your nights sleeping. Your academic life will be dead. So you have to balance the two and then you'll be very happy you did. And this is what I want to tell you. This is how I want to share this few points of mind to you so that you can meditate on this truth I've shared to you. The results you are going to have tomorrow, they are tied to your time. The more you divide your time, you know the number of activities you have per day, the more you, you will become excellent in your spiritual pursuit, excellent in your academic pursuit. So spend your time wisely. Divide your time and then you will be happy you did. The same way it will take you, you as a market woman or as a bachelor, it will take you to take a pen and write a list of the things you want to buy in the market and then take the currency called money and then go to the market to purchase them. That is how you should also take your pen and write out how you want to spend currency called time on your daily activity. That will earn you good results in your academics and also earn you good capacities in your spiritual pursuit. These are the things you should do to become spiritually excellent and to become academically excellent. Thank you for watching to this time. And please, just in case you have not subscribed, please do want to subscribe, like, share, and then turn on the notification bell so that you can receive more of this kind of my transforming messages as it comes your way from time to time. Thank you and God bless. Bye.